I have hay fever and uh, it's hitting me really hard right now. Hello, my name is Andrew and I'm a developer currently developing a 2D hand-drawn shoot-em-up game called Tadpool Tales, where you're a small tadpole and you have to clean rivers and fight pollution. Alongside me, I work closely with my animator friend, Giacomo, who provides all the art assets and animations for the game. We are also working with a very talented musician and a sound designer, Esper and Sebastian. So on Monday, I implemented all the extra enemies for the new build. It was just mundane work, but it was very necessary to add. And uh, yeah, so that's all I did on Monday. On Tuesday, we created a wave system for extra enemies on stream. And I did it with all of you guys. And we listened to some really chill Nintendo lo-fi music. And uh, yeah, that was really fun. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out because the extra wave system that we created, it had to be adjustable to object pulling system. So in the code, I had to change certain things that I've never done before since I've never done object pulling up until this game. By the way, I don't know if you guys can tell I'm breathing from my mouth because my nose is fully blocked, but yeah. <laughs> And that's all I did on Tuesday, so it was okay, it was pretty nice. I've started to get more used to streaming as well, so yeah. <laughs> on Wednesday, Giacomo sent me all the bullets assets for all the enemies that are out there. Well, majority, so excluding the bosses. And uh, now I can definitely feel like there is more variety to the game and it feels much better. This was also just a mundane work where I had to replace art assets and uh, add some animations to each one of them. But we did it in a very, fairly quick amount of time, which is in a day. So I'm pretty happy about that. And that's all we did on Wednesday. On Thursday, because the game was so unbalanced and it looked so weird and it wasn't fun at all to play, I had to do at least some minimal balancing. That way I can test the animations and uh, behaviors of just the enemies and the player to make sure that at least it is somewhat fun and there is a feel of progression to it. This is also important since soon enough we'll have to start implementing the sound effects and the music. We've got to make sure that the pacing matches well with the sound and the music. After doing some simple balancing, I went on stream again and I implemented with you guys the main wave system. Again, just like extra enemy waves, I had to adjust to object pulling system, which was a little bit challenging, but we managed just fine. The code at the moment is not the cleanest and it's not that versatile, but it does the job and it's what we need for this game. Providing a much more sophisticated code would be a waste of time for this instance, but for future projects, I will definitely have to look into better coding architectures. Then after that, later at night, Seb sent me some samples of the sound effects he made. All of them sound really cool, but for sure we have to first put them in and see if they all work. Some of them might be too loud, some of them might be too short or too long. So we have to see how everything balances out. And that's all we did on Thursday. On Friday, after creating the waves, I started implementing, populating the waves with enemies, making several sets and types of enemies to satisfy each wave. In total, we want to have 30 waves where after each 10 wave, there'll be a boss fight. So that way we need to somehow create a nice pacing effect to the player and make the experience more enjoyable. I also did some adjustment and movement for both evolutions. For example, it's bullets deals either more damage or the movement is much faster when it's a leggy but when it turns into a frog, it's gonna be much slower. However, the damage is even greater and we need to find out a way to make it fun. When you evolve or when you devolve, it doesn't diminish the fun factor, but it only just adds up to a nice new interesting mechanic. And yeah, that's how we did this Friday. On Saturday and on Sunday, I didn't do any dev work. That This is why I am currently making the devlog right now which is today's a Monday, so I'm sorry it's very delayed. I spent uh, Easter, which is the Orthodox Easter with my girlfriend. So I apologize for not delivering this devlog sooner, but uh, this was the best I could do at the moment. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking by. I hope you're all well and safe. This was a very short and uh, plain devlog. I hope that it's okay that I didn't add so many memes and stuff, but uh, I don't want to force myself to be funny. I want it to come naturally, so I hope you understand. If you like this devlog and you're also suffering from hay fever, stay safe and drink Gatorade. <laughs> I'm joking.